I think choosing an area to start farming in will help me focus and increase my knowledge of the market. Do you have any suggestions on how to select an area to start farming? Keyword here is focus. I want to tell you, I do not believe, and you may not like this answer. I've got to be honest with you. I'm honest with you people. Um, focus. I don't think that you picking an area to farm is going to help you stay focused. What helped me stay focused was my goals, right? How much money do I want to make? <laughs> Can I pay my mortgage next month, right? <laughs> I'm going to be very clearly focused. Farming is not going to help me focus. What I look at farming is I look at, okay, I don't want to just say, I own this little space right here. I'm so good in this subdivision. Guys, I'm good at homes, right? I, I help people find homes from a mobile home to a mansion, condo, castle, you name it. I'm your guy. That's me right here. So I do specialize in this area and this area and that area and this area and this area. And guess what? All of the tri-counties here in Sacramento. Like that is what I did. And so what I would tell you is if you want to stay focused, I think you need to work backwards onto your goals to see how can you stay focused based upon looking at your goals. But if you want to farm, I would never let you or tell you to farm for focus, right? I think you should farm and you're planting seed. Key word is farming, guys. You're planting seeds. Let's break that down what a farm is. I can pick an area and say, downtown Sacramento is my farm, and now I'm going to be focused. Well, what does that mean? You need to go out there and you need to actually see how are you understanding what's happening in downtown? What are you doing to make sure people are aware of you, right? Are you doing things in social media to make sure people are aware of you? Whether it be um, you know, geo-targeting or using Facebook advertising. What, like, I think farming, and maybe we're going to do a little video series on farming. There's like 25 things you can do in regards to farming an area. And I'm telling you, it can consume all of your day. And you can probably get very small return. Now, that doesn't mean you should not farm. It should be one of your five pillars of marketing. But it should never be a farming for focus. Farming is a long-term path. Don't think you're going to go and pick a subdivision and be like, I'm the guy slash gal for this area. Use me and everyone's going to come running. It does not happen that way. You have to have patience. You have to be the one that's there. You have to be at the networking events. You have to be throwing the barbecue in the park of that area. You have to be in front of the buyers and the sellers in that subdivision. Why are you the specialist? Bob just sold five homes. What'd you sell? None. You just lost your credibility in the farm. There's a lot that you have to think about when farming. I would not encourage you to think that's a way for you to focus. Focus on what you want as a goal, and then from there work backwards and say, you know what, Tyler's right. I'm going to do my goals. Let's start there. I want to make this much money. I need to sell this many homes. Okay, based on that, I need to pick my marketing activities. One of them might be a farm, and I'm going to do all these items for marketing perspectives. But here's the other areas I'm gonna focus on to get business, to get me to my goal, to stay focused. Um, and so maybe that's not the answer you're looking for, but uh, I think it's important to think of it that way because just having a farm is not gonna keep you focused. It's a lot of work to keep up with a farm. It's like a true farm. You gotta go out there, you gotta crop it, it's gotta be in season, you gotta go pick the berries. I mean, it's a lot of work.